The Honda is a no-go. Send. Now I want to check just about everything on this bike before this race. <laughs> this for one race. What have I got myself into? And we're still not done tearing it down. This thing still looks brand new. This is a 2002 and everything on it looks so beautiful. I love it. So this is the carburetor. This is the valve cover. If I remove this valve cover I might be able to fit this carburetor through here instead of pulling the shock off and pulling the carburetor through the frame. That'll save me a lot of time from jacking this swing arm up and taking the actual shock off. It'll, it'll be more efficient if I can fit it through there. Look at all this real estate though, all this room for activities. I understand for the avid riders that this is nothing. This is probably a walk in the park and probably fun and entertaining for you. And it is for me. But the people that don't do this for a regular basis are probably, are probably saying, what the hell, man? That's a lot of time just to take off a carburetor. Like on a lawnmower or a weed whacker, it takes three bolts. I've basically tear, torn the whole bike down, at least 50% of the way. Can you talk for a minute or no? Yeah, I'm just in the office right now. Alright, hey, um, I started tearing the Honda apart. Yeah. And, uh, both the valve clearances are zero. I need to buy new valves. Are you canceling? Well, the Honda's canceling, that's for damn sure. Are you going to do a salvage 450? No, we'll probably fix her. She's a nice machine. Yeah, that's a lot of money though. Okay, well I'm gonna button this one up and check out the other one. Hey man, good luck. Hopefully you'll find nothing else, huh? Yep. Son of a pup! Ah, Jake the toilet snake! The Honda is a no-go. Send. I just want to remove this sprocket off the shaft. And I can get to that bolt there. And then I can get to this bolt up here that you probably can't really see. But it's right there. I promise. Those things I was pulling out of this were called the buckets, those bucket looking cylinder pieces. I was hoping one of those or both of those were damaged or the sh or the shims were shot, but it all looks beautiful, unfortunately. Why I say that is because if the shims or buckets were damaged, then that could lead to why the, why the clearance is zero. The clearance shouldn't be zero, it should be something. So what has happened is over the years, the valves have lost their strength, and because of that, they're not seating correctly. These are the valves, this is your intake. There's springs on here, and these springs push the valves so that they're always closed. When your camshaft goes around, which is this thing, they have lobes on them, those egg-shaped looking things. See, it's circular, keep the valve closed, and then once it goes around, it hits those valves, and it opens the valves. So the problem is, is those aren't seated when they are closed. When they're open, it doesn't matter how they seat because they're open. But for the majority of the time, the valves are closed. So it's very important. If I lost you, it's understandable. It is kind of confusing. But you're probably wondering, Dalton, why are you, why are you still working on it? Well, I needed to keep working on it to make sure buckets were good, shims were good, and now we can finally rule out that the valves are shot. Plus, it's 2016, this thing was made in 2002. In actuality, it was made in 2001. 15 to 14 years of age, and depending on the rider, judging by the looks of it, the rider either knew what he was doing and took care of it, he either rode it like a banshee, or he just wrote her on the yard. But one thing's for sure, it's been a long time. The valves finally need some attention. They are expensive. 
but I'm hoping once I invest that money that it will pay off in the long run and this bike will be in the 3D machines, well, at least in my grasp for a long time because I definitely dig this bike. I'm putting the valve cover back on because as you guys know, there are, usually when I work in my garage, there's a lot of contamination, whether that be me grinding down a piece of steel and sparks going everywhere and dust particles going everywhere. Or if I'm, the list goes on and on, you guys know me. You guys know how you get homework every night or your boss assigns you to do something, a project maybe. You have to use your time wisely. This hair scramble is in just a few days. And I'm glad I looked at this now and not Saturday because if I did, I would have been deeply disappointed and I probably wouldn't have had time to work on the Kawasaki. Saying that, I now have time to look at the Kawasaki see if those valves are good and if they are then we can take that now i'm not going to work on this carburetor right now because i don't think it's a wise investment of time because like i said that hair scramble is coming this thing's already down for the count why invest more time into doing this i mean i could have easily taken this to the hair scramble it probably would have done very well because it hasn't given me problems that many problems lately I just really wanted to make sure it was on its A game for this race. I'm grateful that this race is coming up because otherwise I probably wouldn't have checked this thing so thoroughly and the valves probably would have been out of whack for a few more rides. A lot of people would get pissed off but you gotta stand back and say, hey, I could have done a lot more damage if I didn't check it out. Granted it's gonna be a lot of money to rebuild this and a lot of time and a lot, and a, and a lot of energy, but come on now. This is the bee's knees. This thing is fun as hell to ride once it's up and going. This thing rips, and like Richard Rowling says, let it rip, tater chip. This thing does all of that and much, much more. Saying that, let's put this POS, I mean, this beautiful bike away, and let her play another day. If I rhyme again, for some reason it's a lot lighter. Hey, I made my own trial bike. That thing does look awesome. Okay, so I'm kind of disappointed here. The Honda is a no-go. Well, I take off the valve cover and I check, and I put the engine on TDC, check the valves, and both valves read zero. All right. Yeah, and you know what? You know what your bike needed when they both read zero? New valves. Can you uh, adjust it all, or? So what's the plan then? The plan is. Tomorrow, hopefully, if I have time. Well, who am I kidding? Tomorrow, I will have time. Right now, I don't have time. But I'll have to drag out the Kawasaki and put her on the stand and check her out. Ah, oh, man. 450. You guys jinxed me. You kept saying, well, where's the Kawasaki? Where's the Kawasaki? Well, you're going to get it now. Maybe. Oh,